Welcome back to another Funnelink video. This is uh, Sony's Image Data Converter uh, SR uh, version 3.14, uh, which converts their RAW files uh, to uh, TIFs and um, uh, JPEGs. Uh, we finished everything uh, here down through uh, Tone Curve. Uh, what we can now take a look at is we can take a look at Display Control, which is the last item on the list. If I click on here, I can display uh, clip shadows. And if you notice, we have these small dots light up. Um, and by uh, adjusting the brightness, the contrast, um, and so on and so forth, and the curves, a lot of times we can get rid of these. So that is the clip shadows. Uh, same thing with clip highlights by clipping it here. Uh, apparently we've got no clip highlights. For printing purposes, we can uh, display out of gamut colors, which there are quite a few. And usually, by fooling around with the controls, you can get rid of the out of gamut colors. This is for uh, print purposes. Uh, and here you can display the 16 by 9 area. Uh, that 16 by 9 area um, is for display only, it will not clip it at this point. But what you can do, or it won't crop it at this point, but you can save it as that 16 by 9 area. And that concludes display control. <coughs> uh, the next item that we want to discover is version stack. Uh, what you can do is with the version st stack, uh, you can create with the plus button uh, new versions um, of your steps along the way. And you can either delete them, or what you can do is revert to other uh, other uh, uh, versions in case you make a mistake. Uh, or you can select a version and set it to the current version. So that is the uh, version stack. Okay, now, uh, this would not be complete without um, another discussion, and that is uh, saving the files. Um, if you uh, save the file, it will attempt to save the raw file, the corrections you made in the raw file. If you put a save as, um, what you can do is you can save it as another raw file name. Uh, what you can also do here is output the one you're going to primarily be interested in. Uh, you can output this to uh, any directory as either a JPEG um, at various compression levels, or you can uh, output it as a TIFF. A lot of times, if you're working in uh, HDR, high dynamic range, you'll want to save it as a 16-bit, or if your program uh, will accept 16-bit TIF input files, uh, you can save it as one of those. Or you can save it as an 8-bit. And now here's where that 16 by 9 area comes in. You can either save the entire image or the 16 by 9 uh, area. And uh, what you can do is you can uh, um, also select a width or a height. Um, now, uh, that, include, that concludes the uh, saving portion. Uh, one thing to note that um, as you go between the different Sony models, they've made um, differences uh, throughout time and with the models in the uh, type of raw files that they uh, actually produce. So you're going to have to make sure you go to the Sony's uh, website and download the uh, ver version that is appropriate to your camera. Um, basically, uh, uh, this one, this 3.14, uh, uh, works with the 850 because the 850 does something called uh, CROS, which is uh, compressed raw files, which it does a lossless compression on the raw file so that it can both write to the memory card quicker and um, in addition to uh, writing to the memory card quicker, um, it can also use less disk space. Um, but even in some of the uh, raw versions, you might have raw version 1, which might be found on the... Uh, a100 or some of the earlier uh, A300s or the A200s or you might have uh, 
version 2, which is in uh, later versions of the uh, cameras. Um, again, uh, down at the bottom in the status, uh, status bar, uh, we can have a high-speed display or a standard display. That's the way that um, it updates on the screen. Uh, what we can have here is a magnification factor. So if I choose here to go to 50%, uh, my image is at 50%. Or if I go to, um, again, uh, compress or you know make the image fit, it's at 9%. Um, also, I can select whether it's S S uh, um, sRGB, or actually that comes in the output portion. Um, if I want to save this as either a JPEG or a TIF, I can select any one of these color spaces, Adobe RGB, White Gamut RGB, or sRGB. Um, the majority of the time, the commercial printers are using uh, sRGB. Um, now, uh, one more control up here that we have not really gone across is uh, you can turn on or turn off all the palettes here. Um, and with that, I think we have basically uh, covered uh, uh, everything on this program. Well, thank you for watching this video. And uh, please visit my site. That's www.fotolink.com. That's Photolink. Uh, for a lot more about Sony and uh, also about GIMP and uh, Camera Raw, um, you know, using uh, all sorts of programs like Raw Therapy um, and uh, also HDRI programs, Photo Art, uh, Image Retouching, uh, Flash, all sorts of subjects. Well, listen, thank you for watching and uh, have a good evening.